The demand curve represents the consumption side of this particular market. You can think of it as either being one individual's willingness to buy multiple units of the product or different individuals' willingness to pay for one unit of the product. The consumer can either be final consumers or industrial consumers of the product. Quantity demanded is on the horizontal axis, and marginal benefit, or willingness to consume, is on the vertical axis. Suppose the first consumer is willing to pay $10 for the product. The consumer will be willing to purchase this product for any price less than or equal to 10 The consumer would not be willing to pay more than $10. Suppose the second consumer is willing to pay $8 for the product. The consumer will not purchase it for any price greater than $8. We can continue this process, for example, for a third unit. Let's suppose that the third consumer is willing to pay only $6 for this product. If we continue this process for all possible prices in the market, then we will yield the demand curve. The demand curve will show how much will be consumed at different possible prices for a given income and price of substitutes and complements. If the market price is $6, consumption will increase until the marginal benefit, i.e. the willingness to pay, equals the marginal cost or the price of the product, in this case three units consumed. We can now define consumer surplus for this market. At a price of $6, the first person was willing to pay $10, but only had to pay 6 leaving $4 of extra income in his pocket. The second person was willing to pay $8, so has $2 in her pocket. The third person was just marginally willing to purchase this product, but would do so, but has no consumer surplus. We can depict this on a graph as well. At $6, the consumer surplus is this area shaded in blue. It is defined for a particular price and a particular quantity demanded.